taro and coco yam are used as food in Togo, but the production is decreasing. My name is Bamit Damigu from Togo. I'm a researcher and a One Planet Fellowship Laureate. I've come to find out why in Togo we don't have enough cocoa yam and taro. One of the major problems we have with taro production is a disease called taro leaf blight. I'm collaborating with the Crop Research Institute to see how we can find a solution for our farmers. The first step was to collect across the country all the cultivated varieties. We introduced in vitro all the varieties grown in Togo. At the end, we will take the seedlings uh, to harden them in a shade house. Then we will take them to farm. Then we will establish a on-farm collection. I can put this thing back and that. This will be the time for us to multiply them again on farm. We will show that the selected variety have added value in terms of uh, fight against food security and fight against the impact of climate change. You know, our farmers used to cut the main comb, which is the planting material, in some pieces. For example, with this comb, they will get only eight seedlings using their technique. But with the technique I'm bringing to them, with only this comb, they can generate up to 100 seedlings. One Planet Fellowship and Award keep encouraging young scientists across Africa. This will contribute to build a better Africa tomorrow. I want to thank a lot Award and One Planet Fellowship because through this program, um, today I am a changed person.